हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट शार्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन फॉर ईपी मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बोथ फॉर तेलंगाना एंड आंध्र प्रदेश द टापिक नेम इज रे ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मिरेज सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वाई द सेटिंग सन डज अपियर रेड द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज With a neat labeled diagram, explain the formation of image in a simple microscope. The topic name, next topic name is wave optics. First question is, explain. Topic name is uh, wave optics. The first question is, explain Doppler effect in light. Distinguish between red shift and blue shift. The second question is. how do you determine the resolving power of your eye the next topic name is electric charges and fields questions from this topic are first question is state and explain coulomb's inverse square law in electricity second question is derive an expression for the intensity of electric field at a point on the axial line of a dipole third question is derive an expression for the intensity of electric field at a point on the equatorial line of an electric dipole the th next topic is electric potential next topic is electric potential only one question in this chapter that is derive an expression for the capacitance of a parallel path capacitor the next topic name is moving charges and magnetism so from this chapter there are two questions the first question is state and explain ampere's law second question is derive an expression for the magnetic induction at a point on the axis of a current carrying circular coil by using biot savart law the next topic name is magnetism and matter so only one question from this that is compare the properties of para dia and ferromagnetic substances the next topic is electromagnetic induction so in this also only one question that is most important so many times it is given in the exams so that is describe the ways in which eddy currents are used to advantage the next topic is atoms so from this the questions are describes rutherford atom model what are the drawbacks of this model second question is distinguish between excitation potential and ionization potential then next topic is semiconductor devices so actually the spelling is the m letter m is missed here the questions are from semiconductor devices are first question is describe how a semiconductor diode is used as a half wave rectifier second question is what is rectification explain the working of full wave rectifier this question may be asked like uh, distinguish between half wave and uh, full wave rectifier which means differences between half wave and full wave rectifier so you can expect question even like that also and the last question from the same chapter is define nand and nor gates give truth table of both nand and nor gates the students if you learn answers of all these questions perfectly at least because short answer questions are for 24 marks so out of 24 marks minimum 20 marks surely you will get if you learn answers of all these questions thank you very much